we are back with what we are going to call Funko Fridays. Sure. Yeah? Sure. We'll call it Funko Fridays. Why not? So Funko Fridays, what we're going to do is we are going to show unboxings of things from... Funk. Oh. oh. <laughs> so we have a, a box for me, a box for you, and then we have something special. That is from Insane Toys, and Insane Toys is doing mystery boxes that have six pops in it. With a guaranteed chase. With a guaranteed chase. And it's all mystery, you don't know what's in it, so that's kind of the fun. Uh, currently they're going for $47.99, but if you act now, if you go to their website right now, they're $28.99 for the six. So, so get on those sale. today. So we're probably going to get another one so we can do another unboxing. Well, let's see what we get first. I don't know. I, I feel pretty excited. I mean, six pops with a guaranteed chase. But what if you get pops that you don't like? Eh, well, I, I guess, guess we're going to find out. But what if they're damaged? You know. Ooh. Touche. Touche. So. Uh, who's going to? All right. You want to start? Yeah. All right. So we have two boxes from Funko. So if you don't know, Funko has a pop-up shop. They do. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday morning, um, a new item comes up depending on your time zone. So we're central time. So it comes up at 9.30 a.m. for us. So That's the... top secret information. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's why a lot of people don't get the pops. Oh. They show up there at like 7 a.m. and it's not there. But 7.30 Pacific time, 9.30 you forgot mountain time. Time, 8.30. 8.30 for mountain time for those of you that live in, like, let's say Durango, Colorado. We have one viewer in Durango, Colorado. Or Bayfield. No, both. Okay. Then 10.30 a.m. for Eastern time. Um, so these items normally sell out pretty, pretty quickly. Um, we've had issues where we wanted an item and we were there right right at 9.30 and still didn't get it. So we're, we're always really excited when we get the item. So the reason why it's a mystery is because some third-party sellers, such as Walmart or, you know, just random. Uh, Walgreens sometimes. Walgreens sometimes. Yeah. Um, if you order from them, it'll still ship from Funko. So, you know, we never know where this came from. I normally do all the ordering, and he has one addressed to him, and I don't remember doing that. People so, want to see you open the box, so let's oh, open sorry, the box. I'm sorry, I was just telling them about... Would you like me to do it? No, I'll just cut myself. Okay. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. Yeah. No. Always cut away from yourself. All right. The other thing the with oh, I'm talking. The other thing with Funko is sometimes you order something and it takes weeks and weeks and weeks to ship. Yeah. And so they are slow with their shipping. Sometimes I forget what we ordered or what I ordered. I can't cut. Oh, there we go. Maybe we'll fast forward this in editing. Okay, be nice. Okay, so this is. What do we got? Green bubble wrap. Oh. oh yes. This. Okay, I gotta show you guys. Rest in peace. This is the Flock Jeffrey Toys R Us exclusive pop. Um, in case you didn't know for whatever reason. Toys R Us is going out of business. Well, there's an exact reason. No, if they didn't know, <laughs> oh, for whatever reason they didn't know. Um, gosh. So this is a highly sought after pop because they are going out of business. And um, Funko actually had this on their website two times uh, available for purchase. Oh, there's a crease in the back. Is there? Oh, bummer. It's okay. Um, so... Funko had this on their pop-up shop, shop twice, and we didn't get it the first time. It was one of the things that sold out. Um, but we did it. We did get it the second time, obviously, and I believe it sold out within one or two minutes. Sold out quick, and if you see it in the stores, grab it. It's a hot item. Everybody wants it, and uh, there's not going to be Toys R Us is open up for much longer. The crease isn't bad. There's still a crease. Oh goodness. Well, we're inbox collectors. Like some people ship things so horribly. Target. Target that uh, that, was good. It was good. <laughs> that uh, the boxes just get destroyed. Like we had an Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, the sexy, the sexy pose, Jeff Goldblum. that didn't uh, the, oh, the 
tape was super strong this week. Holy cow. Told you. That uh, didn't arrive in the greatest of conditions. Yeah. So in here we have. That. Oh. So as we were talking about, not always from Funko. Oh, I ordered that. I know what that is. I ordered that from Walmart. Yeah. So we have Stan the Man Lee from Captain America Winter Soldier, where he's dressed as the Smithsonian guard. Oh, it's a full on bubble. Oh, he's a Smithsonian guard. That was his cameo. Look at that. Yeah, that looks in pretty good shape. So there we have uh, Stan Lee. All right. And Jeffrey. Let's move these to the side. All right. So this. I have zero idea what could be in here, so. I'm really hoping it's good stuff because we did pay full price for this one. We did pay full price. And it for says this. on the box, Pop Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmo six pieces per case. Oh, so nice. maybe it's all Guardians of the Galaxy. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Not that I don't have almost all of them, including the chases, but that's okay. All right, what's in the box? What's in the box? Um, all right, you want to go first? No, you go first. All right. Which side should I grab from? Uh, oh, they're all in protectors. Yeah. Wow. Good job, right. Insane Toys. All right. So I'm going to take this one. All right. So I'll start with this one. Yeah, you know what? You start with this one. Okay. This. Ladies oh. first. All right. I'm already happy with the box. How are you? <laughs> so this is Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is uh, one of the shows I really, really like. I'm really happy about that. They uh, do have a chase for him, by the way, where he has an eye patch eye on patch. Yeah. And, oh, nice. This goes with what we're looking at behind us. Star Wars. Yep, so it's Rogue One. It's an Imperial Death Trooper. Looks to be in good shape. Again, it's in a case, which is pretty cool. Can I go next? You can. So this is Deb from Napoleon Dynamite with her nice side pony. Gosh. Things on your toss. <laughs> All right, and then we have, oh, there's the chase. It's Tiffany it from Bride Tiffany of Chucky. Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. So it is a horror pop chase, which are very highly sought after chases. So that's the regular one without the blood splatter on her face. Oh. There we go with the blood smell. I'm guessing that's the only difference. I don't know. Looks like the hair is a little bit different. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do this one. All right. This is Power Girl. Okay. Superheroes. I like, I like the picture of her because I beat her up. <laughs> this is PG-13 now. I, I said boobs. And last but not least, we have a Disney princess. We have Aurora. From what movie? Oh, come on. It's from Sleeping Beauty. What color dress is she wearing? She's wearing a pink dress. Does she always wear a pink dress? She does in this pop. There's the other princesses on the back. So, all in all. I think this is a good box. It's a good box, but man, I would much rather have had it for $28. Instead of fifty dollars, well, but we're just gonna have to order another one. I think uh, I think we're gonna do another one for maybe hopefully next Funko Friday. If it gets here in time. So let us know what you guys think. You know, write in the, if you guys want to see more of these style boxes with the mystery boxes where we have no idea what could possibly be in it. Uh, maybe we'll do some giveaways. You know what? We will do a giveaway if we can get ten shares of this video and you guys to write which one of these pops you like the best. Minus these two guys. We'll just do these. Which ones you guys like the best? Maybe we'll make that one the giveaway for this week. So make sure you guys like us, subscribe, share. comment, share. Spread the word. Yeah. We're back. We're back. And we're back to do things for you guys like this where you never know what's going to show up in the box. So this is Nerd Guy. Thank you, gal. For Funko Friday. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.